What's up guys and gals, this is Introphase. Follow me on all these social media, like, share, and subscribe. What's up guys and gals, this is Introphase, and in this video, I'm gonna see if you can glue holes in tires. Well, this is just a test, so I don't know for sure if this is gonna work long term, but we will see the results in this video. And today I'm using Scotch Weld 3M PR40. It also comes in many numbers, so as long as it says PR, Scotch Weld for rubber and plastic, you're good to go. Some of these include PR40, PR1500, PR300, PR600, and many other numbers. The number behind it just means the viscosity. Viscosity is just how liquidy or how gooey the glue is. So it's all kind of the same, it works the same no matter what number is behind it, as long as it's Scotch Well 3M PR for rubber and plastic. So first off, I do not recommend using this on road vehicles unless you are in an extreme desperate situation in the middle of nowhere. What I would recommend using this for is off-road vehicles. That includes ATVs, dune buggies, anything that's pretty much off-road. I would not use this on road with other cars driving next to you. In this tire, I have a bunch of slow leaks and they're from old tire fixes that uh, the previous user of these tires had. So these are old dry rot tires for ATVs. And so my first thing to do is pull out the old plugs and I'm actually gonna use 3M to glue it inside and put new plugs in and see if this slows or eventually stops leaks altogether. And I put uh, as much as I could on the inside of the hole after I use scissors to cut the hole a little bit bigger and dig out whatever rubber's hanging on. After I glue the inside and put a new plug in, I then glue the outside of the plug around the hole to make sure there's even more glue to stop any leaks.
plan Thrill and rush, we understand Do buggy in this land Kick it up, we live in large Do buggy, take the charge Desert dreams, heat, we feel grip The time behind the wheel Take the charge Desert dreams, heat we feel Gripping tight behind the wheel Kick it up, we live in large Do buggy, take the charge Desert dreams, heat we feel Gripping tight behind the wheel
And here it is, the final result. I'm spraying water and soap onto the tire to see if there's any air bubbles and it seems to be holding up pretty well so far. I can't account for this for extremely long term, but for short term, it seems like it's working or at least slowing down the leaks because I do not see any leaks in this tire after I changed the plug and used 3M PR40. Thanks for watching this video guys. This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media and if you like my videos, like, share and subscribe. Let's go. Tracks unseen, we own the show. Bouncing high and feeling low.